Now we will pull it all together and I will show you how to solve problems involving normal distribution. So in the last video we talked about basically just reading the chart the, uh, using the z-scores to get areas. Now we'll kind of throw it into the context of the problem and, and, and how to do those. So for, it's a four-step process. First thing you're going to do is make sure you draw a picture and shade the area of interest. Step two, standardize, find the z-score, and then label that on your picture. And then in step three, that's where you just you use the table, you look up, and you get the area according to the z-score. And then step four, you're going to write a conclusion in the context of the problem. So here is uh, an example. We'll do one, and that should be pretty much good to go. The distribution of heights of adult American men is approximately normal with a mean of 69 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Now I have some questions here. What proportion of males are shorter than five foot four? Now five foot four doesn't help me because um, the mean and standard deviation are in just inches. So I'm going to first turn this to 64 inches. Now I go through my four step problem. So I'm going to draw a picture. I'm going to label the mean, 69. I'm going to label the standard deviation at 2.5. And it says 64 inches or shorter. That's my x. So I'm going to shade to the left because it says shorter than. Now, uh, that's step one. Step two, standardize. Find the z-score. Label on your picture. It's easy. z equals x minus mu over sigma. That is 64 minus 69 over 2.5, and I get a z-score of negative 2. Step 3, get up in my table. So I'm going to go to my table. I'm going to locate negative 2, negative 2.0, and that happens again. Here's my table. I scan down on the negative, negative 2.0, 0.0228. Point zero two two eight. So the probability that z was less than uh, negative two was point zero two two eight. And then I just write a sentence in the context. Um, I could say the probability, or let's see, it says what proportion of males? The proportion of males. Shorter and five foot four is point zero two two eight. That's it. There's my four step process. Okay. Question number two. What proportion of males are taller than six foot? Well, again, six foot is seventy two inches, so that's what I'm going to use on my graph. So number two. First thing I'm going to do. Draw a picture. Label the mean. Standard deviation. And my x, which was 72 inches. It says greater than. So I'm going to shade to the right. Step two, get my z score. 72 minus 69 over 2.5. And I get a standard or a uh, z score of 1.2. I'm going to look that up in the table to find the probability that z is greater than 1.2. Now again, keep in mind that's a greater than. So when I look this up in the table, if I look up 1.2 in my table, uh, I scan down here, I find 1.20. Right here, 0.8849. Okay, I go back over here. Now, 0.8849 makes more sense for that area. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for that shaded area. If you recall, going to the right, I have to subtract it from 1. 0.8849. And then I write a sentence in the context. The 
proportion. I believe it said proportion. Of males, taller than uh, 72 inches or 6 foot is 0.1151. And there's my context. Okay, last question. Number three, what proportion of males are between 5 foot 8 and 6 foot 2? So this is going to be 68 inches and 72. I'm sorry. Six foot, not six. So 68 to 72. So here's my graph. Okay, my three step process. One, draw a graph. Well, that's not the best looking graph, but so we said 68 to six foot. Okay, 68 to 72. So 68 is going to be about here. 72 is here. And then, of course, I've got my mean in the middle. I'm just going to kind of dot that because um, I'm going across that. So I want this between area. So basically, I need to get the I need to get two Z scores. I need to get the Z score for 72, which I know is 1.2. I need to get the Z score for 68. is negative 0.4 and basically I'm going to look both of those up in the table and subtract. So uh, for this 1.2 uh, I get that area of 0.8849 okay and for a z-score of negative 0.4 when I look that up, I go to my negative side. Negative, again, I'm going to scan down and find negative 0.4. Right here, 0 0.3446. 0.3446. And I'm basically going to subtract those two areas. Anytime I'm going between, I look them both up and subtract. So, probability. That z is greater than negative 0.4 but less than 1.2 is the subtraction of those two, 8849 minus 0.3446, and I get 0.5403. Alright, and then in the context, the proportion of males. Between um, what did we say? 68 inches and 72 inches is 0.5403. Enjoy.